looking in my teeth. Is anything in them? I think we're good to go. Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to be showing you a few healthier, healthier alternatives for food ideas. Like I said, I get questions all the time on like what I personally eat because I have celiac disease and I have to like kind of work my way around food when it comes to eating certain things, I don't know. So today I'm gonna show you some recipes that I eat all the time that I'm absolutely obsessed with. These are very <laughs> easy things to make because I am not a cook. When I'm hungry, I just wanna be able to like warm it up and shove it in my mouth. I get literally zero pleasure on making food. So if you're that type of person too, stay tuned baby because it's gonna get easy. With all that said, let's get into the first recipe. So the first recipe is going to be spaghetti squash and you, oh, of course my battery's gonna die. Naturally. Hey guys, uh, so it's a few days later. <laughs> Obviously my camera battery died and then I just stopped. <laughs> Let's continue this video. So you might have seen that I had some spaghetti squash in the last video, what I normally eat. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it up here. It's just a quick five minute grocery haul video. So the first thing we're gonna make is spaghetti squash with ground turkey and pasta sauce. And it's super easy. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to make a grilled zucchini. I know it sounds super, super elementary, but like I said, all of these are very elementary recipes. Grilling zucchini is like so good. So I'll show you how to do that. Now, I know this one is extremely elementary, but you never know. Is sweet potatoes. I know, it's like the, the most simplest thing you could possibly make, but you would be surprised how many people don't actually know how to cook a sweet potato. You could also make sweet potato fries, but we're just gonna keep it real simple, like I said, and just make sweet potatoes. My last recipe I'm going to show you is kind of a bonus, and I don't know if these things that I'm looking at are at every grocery store, but I got these at Aldi's and they are these sweet, it's called a sweet crepe. Everybody knows what a crepe is. It's basically this French really, 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 really thin pancake. And usually they, they take yogurt and like a berry and they put it inside and they roll it up and they're really good. So I found these at Aldi's. We're basically gonna make a French inspired sweet crepe. I'm excited for this. <laughs> On a sweater already, mom spaghetti. So the first thing you wanna do is start your stove or stove. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is turn your oven on and I put it at 400 degrees. So it's preheating right now. You're basically going to take your spaghetti squash and cut it right down the center. You're gonna want a sharp knife, so, cause it's kind of, sometimes it can be, they can be like real tough. This one's actually not, so. When you open it, you're gonna see these little seeds and you're gonna wanna scoop those suckers out. I would just scoop them out and then I throw them like in a bowl. So I'm gonna scoop them out real quick. <laughs> and then before you put them on a pan, you're gonna wanna take either a knife or a fork and like poke the bottom. Once you get them all cut out and like that, you just put them in a pan. You can use tin foil, you don't have to use tin foil. And then I just lightly sprinkle them with olive oil and pepper. I just put some pepper on them. And then I just sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on them. Maybe that was a lot, that's eh, fine. <laughs> and then you're gonna put them in your oven for, I usually do 35 to 40 minutes. The less time that you put them in the oven for, the crunchier it will be. So I'm gonna put these in the oven. I don't think I was recording that whole time. <laughs> Wonderful. Basically, I just put the turkey in this pan and I'm just cooking it up. I put some um, seasoning on it. I'm going to cook this up. I'm gonna cook the rest of obviously the spaghetti squash. And when it's all done, I'll put it together and I'll take a taste test. So next time you will see this recipe, it'll be all done. This one's so good. You'll definitely know when your spaghetti squash is done, when you can easily get a fork in them. This one's a little harder, but that's okay. Check this one. Oh yeah, so they're ready to be scooped out and I will show you how I do that. All right, you're not gonna really see me for this part, but that's fine. So basically, you wanna wait till this is all like, you know, not as hot, but. So what you do, if you can see, the reason why it's called spaghetti squash is because 
when it comes out, it's just really stringy and it looks like spaghetti. Goop all this out, put it in a bowl. Yeah, then you can enjoy it or save it for later. And I'm going to scoop the rest of this out and then I will come back and show you what the final product looks like. Oh, I'm excited, I'm hungry. <gasps> so before I stir this up, I just wanna show you what it kind of looks like. It's kind of a, it just looks like, I mean, it literally looks like spaghetti. It's so good, it's so healthy for you. The, the worst thing that's in here is probably the pasta sauce because pasta sauce usually has a lot of sugar in it, but you know, sugar isn't really like the killer. It's fine, sugar is fine, as long as you have it in moderation. Get a little meat chunk on there and I'll do a taste test. Mmm, this is so good. Highly recommend trying this out. Oh, it's so good. The next recipe is the grilled zucchini. I always just cut off the ends. So what I like to do, I'll take some aluminum foil and I just kind of lay it out. I usually like bend, I don't know if you can see this, but I'll like make, bend the edges a little, like in, and then I will basically just cut up zucchini in little circles and lay them out on this tin foil, just, just like this. I'm going to cut the rest of this, fast forward because it's boring. Nobody wants to see me do this. All right, again, once I have them all laid out like this, I take some pepper and I take my olive oil. Don't judge my cap. I lost the cap, so this is a homemade cap. And I just sprinkle just a little bit on the on them. Just enough where it like coats it. If you put too much, then they get like real soggy and they get kind of gross. You guys get a bonus food, peppers. All right, and then I'm going to move these out of the way. I just pick it up like this. Oh God, I have no room. Ugh. I know there's a million different things you can definitely cook with peppers. But again, we like to keep it simple over at my house. <laughs> so we're literally just going to grill these. So I'm gonna cut them up. And then once I get these all cut up, I will put everything on the grill and I'll just show you what I'm doing. Again, simple, easy. I usually just cut into four pieces. I'm just gonna fast forward cutting the rest of these. Nobody, again, nobody's got time. Nobody's gonna want to watch all me cutting up all these peppers. All right guys, so this is what it looks like. I put all the zucchini on this side and then I put all the peppers on this side. Again, super easy. Here's all of the zucchini and the bell peppers. Again, super easy. Make sure again, that you watch these real closely if you ever do them on the grill. You wanna flip them both over quite frequently, otherwise they'll just burn on one bottom and then, you know, then it's kind of like, it'll burn too much. Like obviously you want, so, like I like my peppers burnt on the outside. And usually that's how most people eat them. But to make them not like, just like a big hockey puck, just consistently keep flipping them over. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna cook, <laughs> all of these sweet potatoes. I love me some sweet potatoes and super easy. Again, your stove should be at about 400 degrees. But all you're gonna do is make sure like you quick wash them and then you can just stab some holes in them. You can either wrap them in aluminum foil and put them in the oven, which that's what I might do because I don't have a pan. Yeah, so I'm gonna quick do that. All right, so again, so I wrap sweet potatoes. I'm just gonna throw them or, bleh, just throw, I just wrap the sweet potatoes and I'm gonna roll. Wow, I can't talk. Let's put them in the oven, okay? <laughs> the sweet potatoes are gonna take about 30 minutes. Um, my sweet potatoes aren't that big, so it shouldn't take more than 30 minutes, but if it does, it's fine. So if you're gonna, if you have a huge one, I would say 35 to 45 minutes, so. We're gonna let those cook. That, that's how you make the sweet potatoes, super easy, and they're super, healthy and they're super good for you. <laughs> I just took the sweet potatoes out of the oven. You'll know when your sweet potato obviously is done is I usually just cut all the way through the middle and once it goes all the way through, then you know they're done. Oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> the last bonus thing that we're gonna make, these sweet crepe it says two carb cinnamon, 35 calories. They're basically made out of egg whites. 
which and brown rice flour and a gluten-free mix so i don't know you can warm up or whatever but i'm not going to warm them i'm going to keep it cold so i'm going to take one of these and we're gonna take some Greek honey salted caramel yogurt and we're gonna spread that on one of these and then we're gonna put some strawberries on it. I'm really hungry and I want to eat this right now. Okay, so these are extremely thin. They're literally like a real crepe. So they're really, really thin. So I'm gonna lay it out on the plate. Take some Greek yogurt. Stir it up a little, cause it looks kinda gross. All right, and I'm just gonna Put some in the middle. Oh my God, that's a lot. Well, oh well. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my, I have some raspberries here on the inside. I don't know how salted caramel, whatever, and raspberries make sense in my brain, but it sure does right now. Okay, and then I'm going to roll this up like this, very gently. Boom, crepe. <laughs> I think you're supposed to eat it with a fork, to be honest. So let's see, here's some food ASMR for you. Yeah, you're supposed to eat it with a, a fork. Let's see. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I could see warming this up. Mm -hmm. Warming this up would be so good. If you have an Aldi's in your, in your area, definitely look for these things, because they are super good. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that this gave you some food inspiration, maybe made you think about eating a little healthier because there's nothing wrong with getting a little bit more vegetables in in our day. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, I'm making the turkey now, so I'm, <laughs> this video is a fail already, I can tell. Ooh.